Hey y'all, this video is sponsored by Youth to the People, so make sure you stick around to see my current skincare faves. Girl, I just ain't been having no good day. Is that too much? I feel better. Should do this earlier. Hold on, hold on. Speed it up. Hold on. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea if you're new and welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday, April 10th. The time is 6 10 p.m. I just finished doing my makeup. I'm going out to have drinks with I'm going out to have drinks at 8 30 with Britt, but I did my makeup a little bit earlier because I want to get to the place a little bit earlier so I'm able to like take pictures because I want to start like taking pictures and posting on Instagram. I've been doing a pretty good job at like posting things on Instagram, but not really like full body pictures like I like to. So yeah, I'm gonna get there just probably like eight o'clock, just a little bit earlier, you know what I mean? So that I'm able to take some pictures and yeah. I think I know what I'm aware. Probably, maybe, we'll see. So yeah, I just wanted to introduce the vlog, let y'all know what was going on, and I'll be back. Come here. Come here. He not child Dion making that fool. He ain't gonna step away. Y'all remember the last vlog? This is the um gap hoodie I bought him. I don't know, it kinda I don't know. What you think? Yeah, I'm done. Is it too big? It look like it kind of might fit. Come here. So when y'all are seeing this video, it's Sunday, which means the Sephora VIB sale has started. Let me know if you are rude, because if you are rude, you can start shopping. Let me know what you get. getting. I'm pretty sure by now I've uploaded maybe like a recommendations or a wish list video. But let me know, girl, what you what you gonna be getting. Honestly, it's not a lot of stuff that I want. You know, I'm on. The, I, I'm giving myself a budget. I'm not gonna just be buying all that stuff like I usually do. One of the main things I want to try though is that like refi um, primer. I be seeing the girls on TikTok like doing these story times, putting it on. And I'm like, that looks so cool. Like, does it work though? So, yeah, I really want to try that out and. Just some other miscellaneous things. I want to find me a um a good lip combo too, like a new lip combo. So yeah, I'm just waiting, y'all. It's seven twelve. I'ma leave my house at probably like seven forty five. Mm, I completely like rushed out the house, changed my outfit, just changed everything. So y'all, to make matters worse, why is the outside closed? which is more than half the reason why I wanted to come here to get like the pretty city view at night. Good morning. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got no footage from last night. I'm doing a face mask right now because I want to. Yeah. Get ready to take it off in probably like three more minutes, but I'm pretty sure I got no footage last night, y'all. Me and Britt was just, we be talking. We. <laughs> We really be talking, so we was just catching up, like just talking, girl, just really talking. Speaking of talking, maybe I shouldn't be talking with this on my face. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm about to go look at apartments. I'm about to go look at apartments. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, I'm excited. I'm nervous because I do feel like I probably won't get every single last thing I want out of an apartment. I do have some non-negotiables. <laughs> so, yeah. We're going to see our first tours at 11.30. And it's almost 11 now, so I need to get myself together. I just wanted to come on and say, hey y'all, happy Tuesday. Hope y'all are having a great week so far and I'll be back. Please enjoy this very rare occasion of me ironing. This linen shirt. And I wanna wear it today, but it's so damn wrinkled. I can't put it in the dryer, so.
I'm having to iron it. Um, I don't even know. I guess there's nothing to it but to do it, right? Is it hot? Yeah, it's hot. Just trying to knock the wrinkles out. It do not have to be perfect. I love this shirt, but this shirt gets so wrinkled. Is it because it's linen? Like I just really don't understand. I think I'm doing pretty good. Is this? Oh. All right, not too shabby. It's just the best it's gonna be. <laughs> Hope y'all can see me. So I'm headed to the first apartment. Um, I have high expectations for this apartment. I be looking my apartments up on apartments.com and then from there I call, make a tour, request a tour and move like that. So I'm excited about this first apartment. They had a few amenities that I was really interested in because for me, it's not just the apartment. I also want to be somewhere where I like the amenities as well. So I'm sorry, I'm sitting here talking to y'all with these glasses on. It's probably dark. So yeah, when we get to the first apartment, I will hopefully show y'all around. Hopefully the vibe is cool. They don't mind if I like record, you know, Fingers crossed, hopefully. Why am I nervous? We're about to get ready to pull up. Um, I'm nervous. I'm just I don't know. This next apartment, wherever um we move, it just has to be perfect. You know what I mean? Like I need it to be what I need it to be. <sighs> And Atlanta has so many different apartments, y'all. It's so many apartments, just depending on, like, what you're looking for, your budget, whatever the case may be. Hmm. So, yeah. It says it's 450 feet, but I'm at this stop sign, so I'll be back. Cold closet. How fast do they fill up? Um, well, better question. How fast? How much? How long do you hold them? Uh, well, we can only hold maybe. I know for a fact fourteen days. Okay. Now, if we have to stretch it out a little bit, we can, but not too much. So yes, yeah, fourteen days is a little bit. <laughs> but I'm willing to move a little sooner. So we'll see. This is the bedroom. Yeah, in June. How does people usually, how do they usually set it up in here? Mm -hmm. So. Get the area. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna put a table. Yeah. <laughs> I'll probably just do like a, maybe like a section and then the TV has to go right yeah. here. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's nice. Do y'all have one that's furnished? No. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry it's so dark, y'all, but I just left the first apartment. I wasn't, I'm not completely like in love with the actual apartment, but I love the amenities. I love the location. I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the actual apartment, but, and I'm sorry it's so dark, y'all. I'm in a parking garage, but. We're headed to the next apartment. I gotta hurry up because I gotta be there at one. Um, and say I'll get there at twelve fifty right now. So good timing. I had to get me a drink in order to get validated. So I'm trying out this Olipop banana cream drink. I'm so thirsty. So let's see what it's giving. Oh. I 
I'm not even like a germaphobe, but me actually like putting my mouth on that can was wild. <laughs> but yeah, I like the apartment. I just, it's not as big and it just don't have everything I want. Like, but it's, it's a contender for sure. I like the price. I really like the price. I'm like so big on amenities considering that I work from home. I'm always home. I need to make sure that I'm super comfortable in the space. So amenities is so important to me. I really like that apartment. Amenities, like I really, I really did. I really did. But I just wasn't head over heels in love with the apartments. But I'm going to continue to tour like I keep saying and let the best apartment win. Laundry, powder room. We got this open concept and then this is the master bedroom. That's the master bedroom. This is the master bathroom. I like how it has the separate tub and shower. Closet area, the balcony, in the kitchen. All right, y'all, back in the car. So I ended up touring two apartments at that complex. I ended up touring the three bedroom, which I really wasn't feeling that much. So she showed me the two bedroom with the den. And I really like that apartment. I like the floor plan. The only thing that I didn't like is um, the view from that certain apartment. Like all those apartments are like more of like a scenic view. So instead of like the city, you get like trees. So yeah, that was that. Um, I just don't know. Like I'm so confused where, like, where I want to stay at. This apartment is in Buckhead. And I'm really not a Buckhead girl. So that's another thing. I just don't know I just I I don't know I really 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 don't know so we'll be back when it's time to talk more apartments but yeah I just I feel like when I first moved to Atlanta it was easier for me to find an apartment because I didn't have so many things I wanted. You know, I was just happy to be here, girl. Put me anywhere. I'm just happy to be here. But now that I've been here and I'm making more money and where I stayed is just so important. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, all the apartments I'm looking at are great apartments in their own way. You know? <sighs> I'll be back. <sighs> it is safe to say that apartment hunting is so draining like i don't know where i'm gonna live i have no idea at all like i, I don't know i don't know i'm in bucket right now so we need to get some food i'm hungry and i don't want chick-fil-a so i need to figure out what i'm gonna eat why are you doing it I don't know why this tripod keeps sliding down. I'm already in a shitty mood. Like, I wasn't going to come on camera. I wasn't going to vlog because I'm really in a shitty mood. And I'm just like, they don't want to hear me complain. But I'm then I was like, you know what? This is my fucking life, you know? Everything isn't always perfect. You're not always just going to be in this. You know, great mood all the time. I'm looking for my light. I'm just not in a good mood. Uh, that apartment hunting today really just put me in a bad mood because it made me realize that I have to move soon and I can't find anything I like. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, what am I, how, what do I do? You know what I mean? Like, what? It's so stupid. Like, it's just so stupid. They want all this money for apartments and they just want to give you nothing. Like, 
I tore one apartment today and it wasn't the most horrible apartment in the world, but for the life of me, I just don't understand why y'all had the sink facing the wall. And, and just, I know, like, I was on the phone with my best friend earlier and she was telling me, like, basically I was being a bitch. Basically, like, oh, you're nitpicking, you're just, you're doing too much, basically. And I'm like, no, like... They, they charging all of this money and you want me to flick at the wall while I wash dishes? Like, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? You know what I mean? Shit, like, nah, nah, nah. I don't like that. And it's just like, every, every place is something. And I'm not, I'm not fucking delusional. I do understand that this is an apartment and I'm not going to get everything I want and I'm going to have to compromise somewhere. <sighs> but where? I don't know where I want to compromise at. And I found like the perfect apartment that I really liked and the rent went up. It was already right at budget. Like it was like you pushing it. But I really, really, really liked the apartment, so I was willing to move forward. And then I randomly checked the other day, and that shit went up like five, four hundred dollars. And I'm just like, I can't do that. I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? Even if I can do that, I'm not doing that. It just sucks. It just really sucks. And I'm just, I'm not, to, I'm not at the point where I want a house. Like, I don't desire that. Like, I don't, I want a high-rise apartment with floor-to-ceiling windows that's spacious. Is that too much? <sighs> I feel better. I should have did this earlier. This works. On another note, um, in my last vlog, I was telling y'all about me waiting on this Brandon Blackwood bag. It came. Today, and I want to open it up with y'all. I kind of want to make a TikTok, but I kind of just don't want to make a TikTok. What is this? This is the apartment I was looking at. Like, everybody knows, like, when it comes to like housing, period, the star of the show is always going to be the kitchen and the bathrooms. Those should be like top notch. Like, girl, I just don't know. I'm j I, I, I just really don't know, you know? Also, this vlog that I uploaded yesterday that I had to send over to a brand. First of all, before I could even send it over to the brand, I had to upload this vlog at least like four times. Something just kept going wrong, kept going wrong, kept going wrong. So, finally got it uploaded. And guess what? They come back today with, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that, blah, 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 blah. So, now I have to edit that part and re-upload it again. But it's all good. It's, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. They say I need to upload. What did I, I mean? What did I say I need to fix? Um, please fix the overlay to say 50% off. Okay, I see what I went wrong. She said, please fix the overlay to say 50. I just prayed that tomorrow is a better day. I was having a shitty Monday too. Like, and it's so crazy. Every time I plan to have like this really good week, that shit just be not working out. I don't understand. I, I, I just don't understand. Where y'all went? Watch this car. What? It was dirty, bro. And I was already in there. They told us at eight. I was like, here on. I had five minutes to get up in the Damn, I forgot I left my purse in there. You cleaned the inside too? Yeah, I couldn't get to the trunk. Sebastian, what you was doing? He was in the trunk. You was in the trunk? Yeah, yeah. He need a bath. We got to take him a bath tonight. <clears throat> it's so stink. But, yeah, I'm about to fix this video. I thought I fixed this video. Maybe we can open up the bag together. Yeah, I'm to get rid of Mm -mm. Girl, I just ain't been having no good day. Wow. 
Girl, you remember that apartment I was telling you about, girl? Gonna go up like $400, $500. My light is about to go down, so we have to hurry up. But we're going to unbox. Oh, her bag, her bag, her bag. Lord, please let this light last until I'm finished. So this is the box it came in. I'm absolutely obsessed with this bag and I haven't even opened it, but I've seen other people do like their unboxings. So I just know when I seen this bag, I just know. I just, I just. Maybe I still will do one for TikTok, but this is what's gonna make me feel better right now. So we doing it right now. This is one thing I love about Brandon Blackwood. You're gonna pay that price, but you're gonna get a luxurious experience. Look at the box. The bag was expensive. Expensive. Yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a um an unboxing. So if y'all wanna see the real cute one, make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I'm gonna put it on Instagram too. This bag was it doesn't say the price. Comes with the little, comes with the little, um, yeah, I don't know. Just says, thank you for your purchase. Super cute. Super cute. <laughs> My dust bag is a little dirty, y'all. Hmm. It got some staining right there, but no big deal. The bag. Oh, oh, baby. She is heavy. She is luxurious. Hold on. Let me put the strap on. Let me turn the light off. We got to save the light. Let me put the strap on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Y'all ready? Don't. Don't do you see this, baby? D hold up, please, please. Oh my, this, yeah. And then you can like, <laughs> this is good, y'all. Don't vacation. It's the fact that the strap fits under my arm comfortably. I ain't even opened up the bag yet, y'all. This is a bag. That just that just makes me so happy. Like th this will go on every vacation. I have a um a really small like jock moose bag that has like this going on, but it can't even compare. It literally can't even compare. And I love the fact that this strap is removable. So I can just like hold it as a clutch if I want to. This is my favorite bag probably in my collection right now. She's a bad girl. She's a bad gal. Good morning, y'all. Trying to call these apartments to see if I can push my tour back because I'm running late. So we'll see. Good morning. I had a um, tour at 12 p.m. And I was just trying to see if I could push it back maybe 15 minutes. I'm running a little behind. Okay, let me get you pulled up here. What is your name? Chelsea Walker. Let me just get you pulled up this Walker one second. Okay. Um, C-H-E-L-S-I-E. Yes. Okay. Well, today I don't have any tour set for you. Did you? Where did you set up the tour? Um, I did it through apartments.com. So I have availability. If you would like, I can get you scheduled because I don't have anything on the book. What? So would you like me to put you at like Chelsea Walker Apartments? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes, 12.30 would be perfect. So what did I okay. make the, let me check one more time. To make sure I did the right apartments. Um, 
Hmm. What's the name of these apartments again? Harrison Place. Oh, Harrison Place. I don't think I did it for there, but we can go through with it. I think. Well, how... I mean, you might as well come over and take a look. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about our apartment. Yes. Yeah. Um, how many bedrooms were you looking for? Um, either like two in a den or three. Okay, so we have a three bedroom, two bathroom that sits 1,260 square feet. When were you thinking you'd like to move? In June. In June. Okay, let me go. So right now I just have one that is showing as available, um, and it's going for fifteen fifteen. Is that in your budget? You said fifteen. Yes, one one five one five. Yes, for a three bedroom. Yes, ma'am. Oh wow, where are you located? Uh, so we're off of Beetle Drive, and let me actually, I'm going to send you the website, I will send you the address, and I'll send you your tour time. Okay. Really quick. Um, let me get your your phone number, your email address. Tell me how many total people would be moving into the apartment. Um, two people and a dog. Okay, you guys. I'm not even trying to be funny, swear to God. But, probably, just from the, the, the way this sounds, three bedroom, two bathroom for $1,500. Mm-mm. It's not what I'm looking for. I can just tell it's going to be, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Okay, so says we'll get there at 11.59. The tour is at 12. I'm always freaking out for no reason. That's just who I am. That's just what I do. But he did say like worst case scenario if I'm like late um, he could put me on a self-guided tour and I was like actually I prefer that so hopefully he does that because <laughs> that's what I prefer. Yeah, I don't care. I'm I'm working today. Um, tell me why I was on a tour yesterday and I left my new fucking Chanel glasses in the lobby, and this man turned them in. I was like, thank you so much. I just want to say because I know yesterday I was having like a pretty shitty day. Today is so much better. Like I'm having a great day so far. Granted, it's only 11:49, and I haven't started touring these apartments yet, but. Today's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna work. And it's just gonna be a good day because I said it's gonna be a good day, okay? Nobody determines the day I have but me. So it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. Period. I should have did my little edge. I love only having these little bit of edges out because I am not, I'm not an edges girl. And look at my hoops, y'all. Who is she? <laughs> Y'all, mm -hmm. this song makes me want to cry. I love this song so much. Open arms. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Oops. Focus. What's happening? What's happening? Alright, so I need to lotion my legs because girl. You look a mess. You look a mess. Everybody knows by now, this smells amazing. This is the EOS, or EOS, however you want to say it, um, 24 hour body lotion, vanilla cashmere. She said, girl, if you really want like a nice shine with it, I would just add like a little bit of oil to it. Okay, let's, let's turn the car off. It's moisture. I think they have like I, I think these are the apartments and they have like balconies facing the street I don't like that but we're not going to be so quick to judge we're not going to be so quick to judge okay I hope I get to go on a self guided tour I would really appreciate that 
Put my rings back on. Um, I'm going to use Who the uh uh? Not right now. And of course, y'all. I just walked to Starbucks. Well, I'm not there yet, but almost. I'm back home and good and kind of bad news good news I looked at so many floor plans y'all so 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 many but I settled on the one that I originally thought I was gonna like which was the three two absolutely love it good news is that I love the apartment I love the people that work in the leasing office they are so nice um just really easy going people like easy to talk to just understanding just I, I really do like them i asked the girl i said i really like you i've experienced like really liking somebody and then by the time it's time for me to move into the apartment they don't even work there anymore i'm like are you gonna be here and she's like i'm gonna be here so yeah really like her and the other man that i met too like him like the man that works in the front like everybody's just really nice okay the kind of bad news is the apartment that i want the specific apartment that i want becomes available on april 28th which means my lease isn't up to july i just went down to my lease office to figure out exactly when it's up it's not up to the end of july so i could push the lease back um, to move into the apartment to May 28th, but the rent will go up like $400. That price, the $400 increase is still under budget for my budget. However, you know, you want the cheapest price possible. Like if there's a cheapest price, cheaper price, then you want that cheaper price. So I'm just really trying to figure out what I'm going to do as far as, um, when I'm going to move in just play with the numbers but i i got one more apartment i'm gonna look at tomorrow yeah i got one more apartment i'm gonna look at tomorrow y'all are going dead but i got a better gun charger one more apartment i'm gonna look at tomorrow and then i'm done i'm not looking at no more i've looked at so many apartments so yeah we're gonna look at this one more apartment and then we're gonna make our decision but i'm actually going back to that apartment at five o'clock today to do a self-guided tour with dion so he could see because i really like it and y'all y'all remember all the shit i was talking last night the sink is facing the wall can you fucking believe it the sink is facing the wall but i, I think with the apartment i toured yesterday it was so many things i hated about that apartment to where that just really just did it for me i'm like damn like battery went dead but we're back so yeah i was saying yesterday the apartment that i tore it was like so many things i hated about the apartment to be completely honest i like nothing about the actual apartment what what i really liked about the apartment was um I like the amenities of the apartment. I like the look of the apartment complex, the amenities of the apartment complex, and I love the location of the apartment complex. As far as the apartment where I would be living, I absolutely hated it. I did not like the apartment. They had this movable um, island, which was so fucking tacky. Like, this is supposed to be like a luxurious apartment. Why would you do this? It was just so many things I hate. The rooms were so small and I was so frustrated yesterday because I liked the amenities so much and I liked the location so much that I could have felt myself just settling for that. I'm so glad I woke up with a positive attitude this morning because that apartment I just toured, I love. The amenities are, 
I like the amenities. They aren't the same amenities, so I won't have that, but I'm okay with that. You know, I feel like this apartment offers me more. Um, I tested out walking to Starbucks because there's like three Starbucks in the area. So I tested out like walking to Starbucks. I enjoyed that so much and like, I just really liked it. I really liked it. It felt like I could really make it home and yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with that apartment. I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do with um, moving. I need to stop spending money because it's seeming like I'm gonna be dishing out a lot of money um, trying to hold two apartments because yeah, I'm gonna have to, if whether I move April 28th or May 28th, uh, which April 28th is like two weeks from now, I just can't do that. So may 15th or may 28th or whenever i decide to move i'm still going to have to pay rent here so i'm gonna, I'm gonna have to figure it out we're gonna have to figure it out but i'm excited like i said one more apartment tomorrow but yeah i'm i feel good i'm thank you jesus like for real let's just take a moment and thank jesus because i know i came on here ranting yesterday but y'all still don't understand how heavy my chest was how heavy my heart was because I was so discouraged. I didn't think I was going to find anything that I loved, you know, because like this next move for me, it has to be somewhere I love. I'm not, I don't want to, like, I understand compromising. I feel like I, I feel like it's two things in the apartment that I would have to compromise on the apartment that I love. It's two things I would have to compromise and I'm willing to do that because there's so many other things I really love about the apartment and the space I'll be living in. So I'm okay with that. You know what I mean? Like, it's give and take for sure. <sighs> but I feel good. I feel I feel good in my spirit. I, I feel good. And if this is where God wants me to be, everything will just continue to move smoothly and just happen like it's supposed to happen. You know what I mean? And tell me why. I'm so fucking fake, first of all. Because tell me why Um, when I went downstairs to ask the lady like when my lease is up she was uh she told me when my lease was up and then she was saying like is it because of all the noise and everything she's like we, we would love to have y'all here we could move you somewhere else for cheap and i was like yeah i would i would consider that knowing damn well nothing i don't even know if free rent could get me to stay here because i'm just ready for something new you know i'm just ready for, to live in a different area like i'm just ready for that so yeah i'm happy mm, mm, i'm happy yeah mm, mm. i'm a happy girl uh, yes thank you jesus because i'm telling y'all who yesterday and y'all the ceilings i'm just gonna tell y'all a little, 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 little bit just in case we do get this apartment, y'all can know a little bit. The ceilings are like 15 feet. Yeah. So it's giving, um, it's giving, they have nice waters. Of course, I got me a little, little drink and trick. I got one of these. And then I also got one of these because the lady was telling me, she was like, yeah, they, they, you get these at Chipotle, but Izzy, I'll try this out later, but she said, these are good, like a flavor. I don't know, but I'm just happy as y'all can see. I'm in a good mood and my video going out live today, period. <sighs> I had to upload that video so many times. I hope it does good because your God knows your girl had to work. <laughs> but I'm about to um fill out my description box for that video. And then I'm still prepping for the vacation try on home. let me show y'all what i got so far so as y'all can see i got some clothes over there so far still working on it and then we also got our flower delivery today don't ask me why my box came open like this because i do not know okay so i'm back in the car to be headed back to the apartment to meet dion so he can view it y'all so this is the new toast on linens the one in midtown I'm going to be trying that very soon because what? And this is a car wash. You said what? You said you can wait till I get there because you can't get in last time. Oh, true, true, true. Look at the lighting, y'all. Yeah, nice. 
It's so nice. Dion likes it. The master is over there. See, this room is bigger, feel like. Because it's made different. Yeah. I love yeah, like the open. Yeah, I love this. With yeah. all the lights. Yeah, I love this. Yes. What are you looking for? From the balcony. Yeah. Are you kidding me right now? Y'all, look at this. Ouch. Wow, so pretty. So pretty. Your girl is up early. I don't know why it's not focusing, but it's 7.06. Oh, 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 oh. Good morning. Why, why always the peace sign? <sighs> Good morning. Today is Thursday. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, can we talk about, first of all, I gotta still do um, skincare. We're gonna do that in a minute together. But I have to do these flowers real quick. I got my, um, I think I told y'all yesterday, the flower delivery came yesterday and I need to do it. But real quick before we start on the flowers, can we just talk about how yesterday I told y'all I was declaring I was going to have a great day. And can we talk about how good yesterday was? I'm pretty sure I'm 99.9. I'm 99.9% .9 sure I found the apartment. Um, I just had such a great day yesterday. And that's because I said, like, regardless to what, I would choose to have a great day and a happy. And I'm doing it again today. Today will also be a great day. It will also be a great day. I know that's right. So, yeah. I'm going to get off this camera looking like this, girl. The girl. We're about to do this. Um, these flowers. You know, we're going to do some skin care. How perfect is the message I wrote myself? For all the good things coming my way. Like, how perfect is this? Period. <laughs> so I ended up using a different vase for this one. And it came out cute. She's cute. She's cute. She's giving wilderness. <laughs> the wild. But I think she's cute. Yeah. I like the eucalyptus. I like the pops of color. Like the little pom pom thingies. She's cute. So we're about to do some skincare. I told you guys in my last vlog that I'll be working with Eve to the people. So I'm so excited to show y'all all the products. I have been absolutely loving. I'll take y'all through each product. And I'm also going to try out a new product. It's this Yerba Mate Resurfacing Energy Facial. It says it's an instant microdermabrasion enzyme treatment. So I'm really, really excited to try this out. The directions is apply an even layer to clean damp skin leave on for two to three minutes allowing the enzymes to activate add water gently massage and circular motions to complete the resurfacing treatment rinse off and use one to three times per week so i absolutely love use to the people that's why i was so happy when this opportunity came about because you know before this i've been using use to the people i've just been Able to try more of their products and so far so good. So this is the kale, green tea, spinach, vitamins, superfood cleanser. This stuff is so good, y'all. Like I, I strayed away for a minute and I tried to try other alternatives, but nothing has my skin as clear and as glowy as her. I absolutely love this cleanser. So we're gonna go in, cleanse our face real quick. For me, one pump is definitely enough to do everything I need to do. And just go in here. It has like a little green tea smell to it and I love that. All youth to the people products just give me like spa vibes. Absolutely love it. All right, so I got my face all cleansed. And y'all, I have 20% off. I have a 20% coupon for y'all for anything, any product or anything on the Youth to the People's website. So if you are interested, 
definitely make sure you just click down below because 20% off their official website like you don't get that often so now we're going to go in with the um, energy facial I was telling y'all about now that my face is cleansed and it says this is formulated to smooth skin's texture even skin tone and improve radiance very excited to try this out Wait, because I really just enjoyed this. This is a quick mask you can do like one to three times a day. I mean, a week. And like I said, it's microdermabrasion. I really enjoyed this. Really enjoyed that. I'll have that link down below. Now we're going to go into moisturizer. I've been using two. I like them both. But this is the first one. This is like the one that goes with the cleanser. This is the super... This is the Super Full Air Whip Moisture Cream. This, and then this is another, it's called the Future Cream. And what it does is strengthens, firms, moisturizes. And it says it has like collagen in it. Take a little bit like you would do any moisturizer. Put it on and rub it in. Feels so good. This feels so good, y'all. My skin feels amazing. And also looks amazing. Look at my moisturizer or sometimes in junction with my moisturizer. Sometimes I'll take a little bit of this oil and put it inside of the moisturizer and then rub it. Or sometimes I'll put it on after. So this is the Super Berry Hydrate Glow Dream Oil. I absolutely love this. If you like a little glow to your skin get this. I've been searching for something that can leave my skin glowy but not greasy looking. You know what I mean? This is what it looks like. One, two, three, four, five. And just rub it in. And I just feel like it adds a really nice shine without doing too much, you know? Look at that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now this next step has absolutely become one of my favorite steps to do morning and night. This is one of Youth to the People newest products and I'm obsessed with it. It's the Peptides Plus C Energy Eye Concentrate. It's supposed to brighten, depuff, and smooth the eyes, like the under eyes. This is what it looks like. Like I said, you can use this AM or PM and it says apply a small amount to the under eye area and then around and pat into pat into the under eye. Go in with this finger and put just a little bit on there like that. And just pat. I absolutely love this stuff. I feel like it does work. My under eyes look amazing. And you just pat it. And it helps to depuff and brighten and smooth your under eyes. I also like to take whatever's left and go on top of my eyelids. This is one of their newest products, so definitely check this out. Everything will be listed down below. And we're almost done. This last product. I'm just a facial mist type of girl. I love finishing up my skincare with like spraying something on my face. This is the Adaptogen Soothe, Hydrate, and Activated Mist. It says it has ashwagandha and hyaluronic acid in it. So I just like to shake this up a little bit. This is what it looks like. Shake this up. This is what my skin looks like. Definitely make sure you check out all the products down below. And do not forget to use my coupon code. I believe it's Chelsea Janae 20 But I'll have all the information down in the description box. And you can shop Youth to the People's official website. And get 20% off all these amazing products. So, yeah. Like, look at my skin. Look, just, just look at it. It looks so good. It feels so healthy. Like... I I just love my skin. I love my skin. I'm really in my skincare era. Like, I feel like the earlier I wake up, the earlier I get hungry. It's 9.52 a.m. And I'm hungry. So I'm going to try to hurry. I'm going to try to hurry up and make 
Chick-fil-A's breakfast. Um, sign in. Y'all know I really enjoy those. Pick up at restaurant. Start my order. Drive through. I really enjoy that like hash brown chicken nugget scrambler situation. And also drinking a Celsius. This one isn't bad. This is the sparkling lemon lime. Kind of puts you in the mind of a Sprite, if you will. So just the skin the skin come on come on okay so last time i got yeah i'm just gonna get exactly what i had last time i had to order um yeah that's really all you need because it comes with hash browns it comes with the scrambler and it comes with a drink it's too good let's get the bill Um, Apple Pay, because I got money. I don't know about y'all, but when I get money, like, if people, like, Apple Pay me, I never, like, cash the money out. So, I just be feeling like I've got free money because it be money on my Apple cash, and it just be feeling like free money. Can anybody relate? Am I on my own with this? <laughs> We're having trouble. Don't play with me. Take my money, because I want my food. Take my money. It's yours. Double tap. Processing. Hello, I'm a car for Houston community. If you're looking for a new home and you'd like to receive a text from us, that will allow you to self-schedule a tour, as well as a text with us in the future. Press one. If you're looking for a new home and would like to speak with a leasing consultant, Press two. If you, this call may be recorded for quality and training purposes. Thank you for calling. Hi, good morning. I'm Chelsea. I had a tour at 11. However, I got an email saying that it was canceled. At 11? Yeah, you had, because you were double booked. Yeah, you okay. were for 10. And 10 was the appointment that you set up with Evan. But you were supposed to be an 11? Yeah, I remember I talked to someone on the phone yesterday and I thought it was 11. Okay, you can still come in at 11. It's just you were booked for 10 and 11. Oh. And he told me that it was for 10, but I get you're saying it's for 11. So it's fine. You still have that time. It's just I just wanted to cancel at least one of them, but you're okay. on the schedule for today. Okay, well, thank you so much. I was like, why did I cancel my appointment? Like, why did I do that? Even though I'm probably not going to go with them because I really like the apartment yesterday, but I just want to see this apartment just to make sure. You know what I mean? It's Celsius. Mm. Y'all, yesterday somebody commented on my video. It was a random video. They asked me, do I have filler in my cheeks? Are my cheeks really... Are they that big? <laughs> Like, are they really that big for? Are they? I mean, I've always had these cheeks, so this is the only way I've ever seen my face. But do they? I feel like even if they are big, it's, they're not giving filler. Mm -hmm. I don't know, girl. These are my cheeks. Get them from my mom. We gotta go. I placed my order for Chick Fil A. We must go, y'all. I carry this bag so much, like every single day. Since I got that new lens on my camera, it's hard for me to carry a small bag because the camera can't fit. So this has become like my everyday bag. Mm, 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 mm. Oh shit, it's my turn. E. Hello. Chelsea, I have a pickup order. Is it for Chelsea W? Yes. Chicken bowl meal with the Sun Joy and then the watermelon sweet tea? Yes. Gotcha, will that be our picture? Um, is there Chick-fil-A sauce on yes, there? Yes, three of them. Okay, okay. perfect. Gotcha. Thank you. Awesome. They have this 
they have this new like watermelon mint lemonade and I want to try it out I don't like watermelon but maybe it's just like you know like a syrup or something if there's actual like leaves and watermelon in it probably not going to like that all right y'all oops what's on here uh, this is the watermelon drink well watermelon mint It tastes like hookah. It, it really does. It looks like it's something in there. Can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see, but it looks like it's something like floating in there. Not bad though. not too shabby it say i'll get to the apartment that i'm about to tour at 10 47 so i'm gonna just go ahead and leave now just in case i have difficulty finding it because oh my stomach oh ah stomach hurt a little bit sometimes it does be kind of difficult to find like sometimes it do be difficult to find like parking so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave, and I will see y'all probably there. I think I'm here, but I'm like nine times out of ten sure this is not the official parking lot. But I see a little meter, so I'm just going to pay the meter because I'm not trying to get booted. Mm -mm. So, let's go. And I done ate that food. I got to use the bathroom, y'all. Sheesh. Let's figure this thing out. Yeah, I'm definitely not in the right spot because the apartments are right here. Hmm. I'll figure it out. Y'all, it's time to go home. It's currently pouring down rain outside. Um, I just left the tour. I feel, I feel a, a couple different ways. We're going to talk about it. So, so I feel like. I'm not gonna lie, when I first started, uh, when I first walked in and I met the man or whatever, initially he asked, uh, what was I looking for, like a one bedroom or a two bedroom? And I, I wasn't quite offended because, let's be clear, the apartment complex I just looked at was really expensive. And not only was it expensive, but, you know, it was just me. So he's just assuming like one, two bedroom. And I was like, no, two or three. And so, then he told me like how much the three bedroom was, which I already knew because I already looked at it. Yeah, eventually he kind of warmed up because I've toured so many apartments and I and I know all the questions to ask. I know what to look for. Like I know all the things. So once he seen I was well versed in this apartment touring whole situation, he kind of just um you know warmed up and was treating me like I was someone who could afford to stay in that apartment you know what I mean like when we walked into the um apartment it was furnished so he like sat on the couch and he just let me do my own thing which is cool but it was just like real like not personable if you know what I mean it was just like yeah look around like what is this your dream apartment like <laughs> that's that's the vibes I was getting but like I said he warmed up and he seemed like a cool guy the apartment i looked at a two two which i was just looking i knew it wouldn't be able to work because i'm i'm very stern on getting a three bedroom but i looked at it to see if maybe i could make it work but it was like nah girl you would need beautiful apartment beautiful apartment and then i looked at the three three which was a penthouse apartment y'all beautiful like beautiful it was indeed over budget by like a thousand dollars um which i could make work if i absolutely wanted to but i'm just not it's okay like i really like the apartment i looked at yesterday so i think that's the one i'm going to go with but that 33 was really nice it had like some really nice perks to it i took a few pictures so yeah maybe maybe next year maybe maybe in a year i'll move into this apartment and maybe he was right maybe this is like my dream apartment because to experience that 
to experience what I just saw would be like incredible. It was so nice, y'all. It really, really, really was so nice. And I'm all about experiences. I'm all about experiences. Some people talk about like people moving every year or every other year, but it's an experience. Like when I'm looking for apartments, I'm looking for an experience. I want to stay somewhere nice and luxurious and just, you know, you know what I mean? All the things. So. Yeah, who knows? Who knows, girl? Like, who knows? It was so nice. It was, yeah, I'm into that. I, I'm, I'm into that. So maybe, maybe, just maybe, maybe, just maybe next year. But uh, it's raining. So you're telling me all this time I could have just had y'all sit right here. It's raining, so I'm getting ready to head to the his house, honey. Ain't nothing I can do in this rain. At all. <sighs> and it's so crazy because he said it was somebody for that same penthouse apartment I toured. He said it was somebody paying $12,000 for it. The same exact one. Which that one wasn't nowhere near that price at all. And I don't even know how. But you know, apartments, they just they fluctuate like that. But $12,000 is wild. Mm, 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 mm. I just want to know, like, twelve thousand dollars, baby. What you do? What you do? Who have you talked to? Where do I sign up? Where do I sign up? Which is, y'all. I'm excited. Like I said, the apartment I looked at yesterday. I'm moving forward with that one. I'm comfortable. We're comfortable with the price. Love the location and have a location I want to stay in. So. I'm a happy girl. I'm, I'm a happy girl. I am excited for my decision. I'm happy with my decision. I'm content with my decision. And yeah. But this apartment. Maybe next year. Who knows. Who knows. Who knows. Mm -hmm. But I did, I did take pictures. And it's. It's beautiful. It really is. It's, it's really beautiful. I'm happy I got to see it. And like I said, I could if I wanted to, but I don't want it that bad because I actually really do like the apartment I looked at yesterday. The people were so nice. It just felt like home. So yeah, I'm gonna move forward with that. And I'm just a happy girl. Like I'm just a happy girl. So let's head back to the house. Development growth, elevation. Mm, 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 mm. I just got off the phone with my sister telling her about um the apartment that I just looked at. And she was like, You remember you said you wanted to stay in the penthouse? And I was like, I did say that, didn't I? And it's just getting closer and closer. And it's like, wow, like my apartment, like my apartment I'm in right now was a current elevation from where I used to stay, and now I'm moving up from this apartment to something else and it's just like i get better and better i get better and better that for me i love i love that for me you know some people be like moving every year and you need to buy a house and you need to do this and you need to do this but i'm young and i don't have no kids and i can do what i want with my money i ain't trying to have no white refrigerator and no house and shit be breaking down and and I got a Dion out there cutting the yard, sweating, getting bit up by mosquitoes. And no, and I'm not even saying all home ownership sucks because it don't. Some people actually really enjoy home ownership, but I'm not there yet. You know what I mean? I'm not there. I'm, I moved to a new state and I want to experience things in this state because the apartments they have here, they don't got where I'm from. 
They don't have that. They don't have that. So I'm here to make new experiences, just see things I never thought I would be able to see, stay places I never thought I would be able to stay and just live. You know what I mean? Just live. Baby, I'm not, one thing about me, I'm not really pressed about no money. Like, I'm not trying to hold on to the, my last dollar. You know what I mean? I'm going to spend it and I'm going to make these experiences and I'm going to live the life I want to live and I'm going to get more money. I'm back home. I'm about to begin working for today. I'm so close because I don't have no clothes on. But I'm about to begin working for today. Today I am recording finally the clothes are over there. I'm recording the like vacation outfit try on haul or I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet, but I'm recording that so I'm about to do my makeup and I'll be back. Whew. Shout out to the people who do try on hauls all the time in clothing content because honey, I'm pooped. Your girl is tired. I feel like I was recording that all freaking day long. Mm, 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 mm. Hopefully, I just, I just hope I like it. Okay, my ears are getting irritated, so I have to take my earrings out. It's not, um, it's not often my ears get irritated, but I wore some hoops. I think I showed y'all those hoops, those big hoops I had in. Yesterday, they really irritated my ear, so every, I'm just trying to, I don't, let me see. Obviously, it's not focusing on the whole, there we go. I don't know what's going on, but my ear's a little irritated, so. Yeah, girl, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm tired, I'm tired. Mm -mm -mm. Like I said, it'll all be worth it if one, I like the footage, and two, it does good. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I'm hungry again. I don't know what time that was. Well, actually, it was before 11 when I ate, and now it's 6 02. Yeah, I'm hungry. I think I'm about to take this makeup off because I don't, uh -uh. Mm -mm. we ain't chilling around the house with no makeup. So yeah, I'm probably just going to take this makeup off and I need to export the footage from this vlog to see how much I have because we got to start another vlog tomorrow, girl. We got to start another vlog tomorrow. <sighs> I just been holding out any type of way. I'm tired. I want to lay in the bed. I want to lay in the bed. And rub my feet together. I really do. I really, really do. Hey y'all, so it is 8.45. And we're about to go to Hobnob and get dinner. I love their burgers. They do like a burger, like a bacon burger with the fried egg. And it be too good. So I'm probably about to get that. My energy is low because I've been up all day. And I've been working. And I'm hungry. So, yeah. Probably, hey, go to bed. Probably also gonna grab hookah from there. Maybe, yeah, hookah. I'm probably not gonna drink though, cause I'm not in the mood to drink. Okay. I'm just in the mood to eat because I am hungry. I've been editing. Um, I've gotten through 50 minutes of this vlog, and right now the vlog is an hour and 15 minutes. But this is also going into that vlog as well. Um. This vlog is a whole bunch of talking, girl. A whole bunch of ranting and hoopla and all of that. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoy it, though, because I feel like in this vlog you just see, you know, like... So, I will see y'all. Be crying. I will see y'all at Hot Dog. So, I was cool. Now I'm sleepy. I went from hungry and irritated to sleepy. <sighs> it's not the way we went, is it? I was looking to get a road play. This way it's supposed to be. But yeah, that was cool. I'm about to go home and go to sleep. I'm trying to be careful, y'all. I'm walking down these stairs. <sighs> I forgot to look at the dessert. 
You ain't even remind me. You ain't wanna buy me no dessert. Ain't that open? I don't want no dessert. Okay. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. Because, yeah. I will be starting another vlog tomorrow, which is exciting always. And definitely if you are new here and you're not subscribed, consider subscribing because exciting things are gonna be happening. We're gonna be moving soon. We gotta apply for the apartment. We got a lot of things to do, so definitely subscribe. And I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in my next vlog.